back now more than ever. Voters want to make sure U.S. elections stay safe and secure. We're about to meet the woman in charge of making sure that happens in Washington and ask her about some very recent updates in voter registration laws. Please welcome the Secretary of State of Washington, Kim Wyman, to the show. It's good to have you here. It's good to be here. So, explain to us, for anybody who might not know, what you do, what your job involves. Uh, so the Secretary of State's office oversees four parts of state government that are kind of unrelated. Uh, corporations and charities filings, <laughs> mm -hmm. so you can get information about a corporation you want to do business with. We do the state's history with the archives and library, and probably the most high-profile part is our state's elections division that oversees elections for all 39 counties. And we have never had the kind of focus we have now on whether our uh, voter rolls are secure, whether our votes are secure. What can you tell us about the way we do things in this state and how much confidence we should have? Well, I hope people have a lot of confidence. Um, this is something we've been working on for 15 to 20 years. Once we went on the internet to put election night results, we had to be aware of cybersecurity. Right. So we've been thinking about this and working on it for a long time. In 2016, when uh, there was some activity that we thought was suspicious, we had confirmed by Homeland Security, it was Russian hacking. Uh, they were not able to get into our system. So think of it as someone going around your house and trying the doors and the windows. That's what they, they did. So um, the Russians were casing us. They were casing <laughs> us, exactly. Which is scary. It's very scary, it's very scary. We've never seen another country do something like this. So it's a new level and a new high profile, but um, uh, it's kind of like Fight Club. Yeah. Uh, the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about it. You don't want to flag things for the hackers. But I can tell you that we are working closely with the 39 county auditors mm -hmm. and making sure our elections are secure. And then also uh, now our partners are the uh, FBI and Homeland Security. So we're working very hard to make sure that your votes are accounted fairly and accurately and protected. And that nobody's messing yes. with our voter rolls. Yes. You're and on it, right? I, we're on it. And She's I also want to just for the record make sure everyone understands that at no time did they get to any of the tabulation systems across the country. Those are not connected to the internet by design. That's one of our safeguards. Right. But yes. we all worry, right? Absolutely. If you're, doing, if you're casing a joint, yes. you have some plans. Absolutely. You have some aspirations. Okay, so the legislature has just passed Washington Voter Rights Act, pre-registration, same-day registration. Um, those are going to the governor for, mm -hmm. for his signature. Are you happy about those and what do they do? Oh, we're excited. It's going to be some pretty big changes for elections in, in our state. Um, I think the one I'm most excited about is what we call the Future Voter Program. Mm -hmm. And this is an opportunity for us to um, partner with schools across the country, uh, across the country, I wish, across yeah, the state. Yeah, can we run things yes. from here? That <laughs> oh, would be awesome. <laughs> I wish they would let me do that. Um, but uh, um, we're, we're going into high schools on Temperance and Good Citizenship Day, and we'll be working with the local officials to try to get those young people to see the importance of being civically mm -hmm. engaged. Uh, studies show that a, a child who is either influenced by their parents or teachers, uh, that voting is important, becomes a lifelong voter. So this will give them a chance to enroll, and when they turn 18, they'll be able to vote. So they can register, pre-register rather, so that if they're 18 by the time of the election, yes. they'll be all, all ready to go. Ready to they go. They can do yes. it. Okay, that's pretty super. Um, is there anything voters should watch out for um, in terms of the way we mail back our ballots or the things that we do? I know the little security envelope can be a problem for people. How careful should we be in preparing our ballot to return? Uh, very careful. I mean, probably the most important thing people should remember to do is sign the outside envelope because yep. many people don't know this, but we check every single signature of every return ballot against your signature on file to make sure it was you that voted. Uh, the secondary thing is if you get a notification from the county elections office that something might be wrong with your signature, contact them and make sure you get it cured. That's also a safeguard to make sure that you were the one who actually returned that ballot and right. not someone on your behalf. Okay, because mm -hmm. sometimes people wonder why they're doing yes. that, that's why. Um, if you haven't voted in a while, but you're going to vote, should you check to make sure you're still registered? Yes. And How do you do it? Super easy, uh, go to our application, which is myvote. Dot uh, wa.gov and you can check your status if you're not registered and you have a driver's license or ID number you can go ahead and um, uh, register on that site and if you've moved probably the most uh, common thing people do is they move and they forget to let their county election officials know and you can update all of that on that site from your home from you your home to go or anywhere your home to do right that. now in the yeah, audience yeah that's so <laughs> cool I mean I love the the age we're in so I've traveled to a lot of countries overseas where people newly got the right to vote or had a problem in the past with all of this and I'm always astonished at what a low voter turnout we have yes. compared to eligible voters. Um, what do you think we should be doing about that? 
Well, one of the things I'm really proud of, our state is really on that front end of trying to make our voting and our registration as accessible as possible. A lot of the laws you mm -hmm. talked about are going to help do that. But we always have to balance security because we want people to also have the belief that the people that voted were eligible and um, should be voting. So right. that's our constant challenge. But really, I think it's just getting out. You know, our goal is to make sure that every eligible person in our state has the opportunity to register and vote. And that's what uh, my colleagues around the state work at every day and will continue to do it. That's awesome. Thank you very much for the good job you do. And it's very interesting to hear about the new laws. We'll put more information about that up on the internet and I'll put it up on my Facebook page Wonderful. today so people can read about what a cool state we are. <laughs> Thank you again. Up next, how you can do something good for the environment the next time you go to 7-Eleven. I kid you not, we'll be right back.